What's up, Invincible Entrepreneurs? Happy, it's Tuesday. Happy Tuesday. How are we? Uh, so I have been a little bit quiet last week. I uh, got a little sick. So that's what happens when you don't take care of yourself. So here's my reminder to uh, also work on your business, but make sure you're taking care of yourself. So had a little downtime, feeling a little better. Um, just did a little photo shoot this morning in the wind and the cold in Colorado. So um, I posted a poll last week and I wanted to talk about that. Okay. So I said, what do you need more help with? Do you need leads? Do you need sales? Something else? Um, that kind of thing. So, uh, the biggest answer was leads. So I want to talk to you guys right now about why your posts on social media aren't actually, um, getting any, they're not getting the response that you want. Okay. So <clears throat> I think very often we're like, we're told just go post on social media and you'll get all this response and it'll be amazing. And that's great, except when you look at who's on your Facebook, let's just talk about Facebook today. If you look at who's on your Facebook, some of you have, hello, how are you? Um, some of you have 200 friends, some of you have 700 friends, some of you have 2,000 friends, maybe you have 5,000 friends. But what you guys need to really look at is A, how many friends do you have, okay? If you don't have 5,000 friends, you need to try to get to 5,000 friends as fast as possible. But that being said, you need to make sure that the people that are on your Facebook and the people that you're engaging with are actually your ideal client, right? And so if you have just old friends, I'm not saying that they couldn't be your ideal client, but like if you're posting to people that are not your ideal client that don't need the, the problem solved or don't need the outcome that you provide, that you that don't have the problem that you're providing a solution for, your posts are going to fall flat, right? And so often the, the general world is like, just go post and it'll work and it's magic and it's not, right? If you're you're posting and it's not getting to the people that actually need it and the people that are on your Facebook aren't actually your ideal client then it's never going to work okay so um if you guys don't know the outcome you provide, right? So you need to get really clear. What is the outcome you provide when someone works with you? Um, whether it's for a product or a service or a program, like what is their outcome, right? And so then when you know their outcome, if you if you followed along with the uh, with the workshop a couple weeks ago, we talked about your genius model, right? So you should know what is the outcome? What are their three biggest pain points? Okay, so if you have that, you can be posting about that, okay? But you also be need to be on Facebook, interacting inside of other groups, doing stuff like that, figuring out where is your ideal client, I worry, uh, figuring out where is your ideal client, becoming friends with them, starting conversations with them, right? And then doing the engagement post that we talked about. And then when you're posting, you're going to see a lot more response on your, um, on your posts and on your, um, on your call to action because the people that you're speaking to actually need what you have. Okay. So I want you guys to go check your Facebook, see how many friends you have. Okay. If you have 5,000, that's awesome, but you're probably going to need to get rid of a lot of them. Okay. So there's an app called friendfilter.io. So if you have 5,000 friends and you need to get rid of some of them, politely get rid of some of them. If they're not your ideal client, then you need to go use that app. Okay. If you're not at five and then start adding your ideal client, right? If you're not at 5,000 friends, then you need to start to figure out who is my ideal target, where are they hanging out on Facebook? How can I become friends with them? And then start adding them to your friends list. Okay. Because again, you can make all the posts, you can have all the perfect things in the world, but if the people that are seeing it don't need your product or service, they're never going to buy from you. They're never going to join one of your programs. They don't need you as a coach. Then you're just kicking yourself in, in, you know, just you're kicking yourself while you're down. And then it starts to feel really frustrating. So I talked to a lot of women that jumped in the invincible entrepreneur and they're like, nobody comments on my stuff. It just, there's not going anywhere. Right. And it's not the quality of the posts. The posts are amazing. The value adds are amazing. All of that stuff is amazing. But the people that are seeing it are not the people that need to see it. Okay. So go audit your Facebook, see how many friends, if you guys want, come back and comment on this video. Tell me how many friends that you have. Okay. Let me know what the outcome is that you provide. If you don't know the outcome, let's get on a strategy call. I will. I love these. I will do these all day long. I will jump on a strategy call with you, help you figure out your genius model and figure out what are the three pain points that you're talking to. Because once you do that, you can go find your ideal client. You can become friends with them. You can bring them into your groups and then you can eventually um, help them become your clients. Okay. So hopefully that helps you guys. Um, let me know how many friends you have, um, how fast you're going to get to 5,000. Side note, don't do more than about 30 a day because Facebook doesn't love that and they will make you stop. Okay. So <laughs> sad face. Why sad face? Um, so, um, let me know if that helps. I hope you guys are amazing. If you don't have your genius model figured out and you want to jump on a phone call, let me know. I'd be happy to chat. Hope you guys are doing well and I'll talk to you soon. Have a great day.